Hi, this is Chris from Esri Support, and one of the most common mobile questions we get is how to create a project and save it to your own server for use in a smartphone application. When you install ArcGIS Server 10.NET or Java Edition on your web server, the install includes an on-premise mobile content server, which is the repository for the maps that you can open on your smartphone device. The default location of the mobile content server can be found at server name slash ArcGIS instance name slash mobile. So let's take a look at that. If we go to our browser, we're going to go to the mobile endpoint for our server. And on here, we're going to find that we have a basic looking page that we can go to the content and then from here we're presented with a couple of different folder options. The first one is mobile web and the second is Windows Mobile. Now this is a common place where people can get confused about which folder they should be working with. If you're using ArcGIS on a rugged Windows Mobile or Windows Tablet device, the project was, will be stored inside of the Windows Mobile folder. The mobile web folder is the root location for storing maps used inside of the ArcGIS application on your smartphone device. This is where we'll be working today. So in here, there's a default folder called Maps where you can store your projects. And the next step is going to be to add an item. And when you click on Add Item, you're presented with a form to fill out. So the first box on here is the text box. This is where the JSON for the map is stored. What you're going to do is copy and paste your map content into this text field. And we're going to go through later in this video how to set up the JSON script. The next one is the item. This is a unique identifier for the map. This is also the project name that is stored on the server. The next part is the name field and this is more of a user-friendly name for the map. The title is the name given for your map. And the title appears at the rest endpoint and will appear in the ArcGIS app on your smartphone. These are the only required fields. Some of the others include the description which you can include uh, detailed metadata, uh, snippet which is a short description for the map, the extent. You can also upload a thumbnail. And then the last part on here, the type is web map and we're going to leave this alone. And then format is HTML. And this could be HTML or JSON, but we want to leave this as HTML. For a detailed description on this, you can go to the following website. going to be links.isri.com slash ios slash app slash maps. And this is going to download a PDF document that details all the information about how to publish your maps to your ArcGIS server. And some of you may have already seen this before. But this is basically the format that we're going to follow. Now the main part of this is that we need to create our JSON file that can be used for this item. So the easiest way to do that is actually using ArcGIS.com to build this JSON. So let's go there now. So in ArcGIS.com we're going to go ahead and sign in. So once we get signed into ArcGIS Online, we're going to go ahead and go to the map and we're going to start adding layers. Now there's a couple different ways that you can search for layers in ArcGIS.com. You have the ability to search for layers using the REST endpoint of a server. You can also create your editable layer and you can also add a layer 
from file or from the web. In this case, we're going to go ahead and search for layers. Instead of using ArcGIS Online Search, I'm actually going to go ahead and just connect to my server and search for the layer. And this is going to browse the REST endpoint for my server. So I'll take a look and see which service I want to add, and here's one of them. And I'm also going to go ahead and add a base map. Now by default, ArcGIS Online gives you a lot of different base maps you can choose from. In this case, since I'm looking at historical locations in Pittsburgh, I'm going to change my base map to one that I've created that's sitting on my server already. So in order to do that, you want to go ahead and click the name of the service, and then you're presented with the option to use it as a base map. And then we're done adding layers. So as you can see, the base map has changed from the ArcGIS Online base map to mine. And some of the advanced things that you can do with ArcGIS.com is set up your pop-ups. These pop-ups can be used not only in ArcGIS.com, but they also go into the smartphone application as well. So let's go ahead and set those up. In order to do that, we need to drill down into the layer that we want to use for pop-ups. So we'll click on it, and here we're presented with our layer. One of the options is to enable pop-ups, so we need to do that first. And then the second is to configure the pop-ups. By default, it'll give you the title, some contents, and media. Now you can go ahead and change any of these around. So I'm going to take this description out, and the only thing I want to see is the field that I'm working with. And then I'm con going to configure some of these attributes. Now there's some fields that I don't necessarily want to have visible to all of my users when using this application. So in here we have the option to turn those off. I'm going to go ahead and do that with some of these. Click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the order a little bit here. One of the things that my field has is a media link. It has a link to an image. And I'm going to go ahead and configure that now. So I hit the drop down and go to Image and I'm going to leave that title, but I'm going to change the URL address to be one of my fields. And I do have the website link for that as well, so I'm going to put that in there. And now that's configured. So we hit Save, and we can go ahead and check out some of our pop-ups. looks good. Now in order to use the map that we've created in ArcGIS.com in our smartphone is that we need to save the map. This will create the web map ID which we can then extract the JSON from. So I'm going to go ahead and save my map. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use the same tags. This is going to be saved to the content in my folder in ArcGIS.com. Now the next part is that we're going to need to share this map. Now in order to get the web map ID, we need to share it publicly. You can always go back through and uncheck this option once you have the web map ID. but for now we're just going to leave that as is. So let's go to my content and take a look. And here's our web map that we just created. And up in this address bar is our web map ID. This is the ID that we need to extract our JSON. Now one of the things in that PDF document that we looked at earlier was a sample JSON script. So 
So let's bring that back in and take a look. On page three at the bottom, it lists the example of a map that shared with other everyone in a link to its JSON. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So here's a sample JSON. Now in here, you'll see that it has a unique web ID. And we're going to replace that with the one that we just built. So let's go back over and get that. And we're going to copy and paste. And you'll see that the JSON has updated. And you'll see that some of the uh, information that we have has also come over. This top part, we have operational layers. And we have pop-up information. And then at the bottom, we have base map information. We're going to go ahead and copy all of this. And go back to our mobile endpoint and save our map. So as I said before, this is the text box where we're going to save that JSON. We just paste that right in. Once again, we're going to have to fill out some of the information that's required. One of them is going to be the item. Again, this is the unique identifier for the map. Uh, it's the project name that gets stored on the server. The other required field is the title field, and this is the map name, and it's the title that will appear in the ArcGIS application. Now all the other information is optional, so we can actually go ahead and just add this item right now. When you have a successful saved map, you'll see that it's reflected as uh, success equals true. So if we go back to our maps folder, you'll actually see that that's in our folder and ready to go. In the next section, we'll take a look at what the app looks like once it gets to the smartphone.